hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is akal prajwapati and in this video i will be talking to you about my new course architecture that is completely based on azure data factory so we will be making a etl project using azure data factory and we'll see the architecture now so the architecture is we have a source system you can see you can see over here and we have source system data lake gen 2 here we are having our csv files and then we have rest api we will be fetching the data in the json formats and then we have a snowflake tables so we have some tables present in the snowflake so with the help of adf with the help of adf we extract the data and put it into the raw layer of our gen 2 okay and the format will be parquet okay and uh, we have this logic app so we will be using a logic app in the ingestion or the extraction pipeline to get the emails to get the failure and the you know uh, uh, succeeded emails you know we are extracting the data from one place to another place using a copy activity lookup activity get metadata activity for each activity switch case activity if else condition and so right now how do we know that whether we have copied the data successfully right so we will not be going to the monitor section of the azure data factory every time and see whether the pipeline is succeeded or not so like so that's why we are implementing a logic app solution which sends an email a failure or a success email once the pipeline is completed whether it is failed or passed right now after all the transforming uh, i mean af after all the ingestion or the extraction right we are using a azure data factory again and we are using a data flow over there okay we are using a data flows over there and we will be doing a transformation so what type of transformation we are going to do we are going to perform casting joins pass json then rank function select derive new column if null drop duplicates and one or two more transformation we will be seeing using a it using a data flow okay so basically you know uh, when we write a code or when we make a project right so we have to do a join of two more than two tables two or more than two tables right and then we we sometime we apply partition by window function rank so we will doing this then sometime we have to select only some of the some of the column so we will be using their select then we have to derive a new column based out of uh, existing column so we will be using a derived column over there then if null or we can say coalesce then we have to drop some of the columns in it right and then remove the duplicate so we can do that and sometime we have to cast the column let's say i am getting a date in a in a string format so i need to convert that date into a you know into a date format then i will use here their cast operation right so all these stuff we will be doing you know in the data flow with the help of azure i mean uh, in the adf with the help of data flows and then we will dump the data into our final layer okay so we make over here some some you know some dimension some fact table if needed or we can also create a reporting tables okay and pass json is also one of the most important uh, uh, you know most important operation which we actually do when we uh, take out the data in the form of json right once it is done right we push the data into our final layer and then you know we can create a tables or view on top of our uh, you know our data lake into a synapse okay and what we can do we can use this synapse we can use this synapse views to you know uh, to create a views and that data or that views we can import into our power bi solution we can also import the data from uh, from gen 2 to power bi but that that is not recommended because 
there will be a you know there will be no performance or very very low performance when you read the data from you know from gen 2 directly using power bi it's better to create a middleware layer either it could be a synapse or it, it could be a data data breaks reviews right and uh, it could be a tables and then it could be a you know a s cube so it's better you know in this case we are going to use here synapse data warehouse right okay and in this transformation pipelines also we are using a logic app to send the emails the monitor emails whether the, whether the transformation is getting passed or fails and so 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 right also we have a key vault over here to save the data to save the credentials api keys uh, using uh, you know in in the azure key vault right as well as we have a azure devops and github repository to do our deployments okay so after everything is being done right our everything is being done then we will create here we will create here a master pipeline master pipeline okay so what is master pipeline is a only a single pipeline which consists everything let's say raw publish sql views and then power bi refresh okay so we will create a master pipeline and we will schedule the master pipeline so it will trigger first raw and we will send the emails whether the raw has been completed or not then we will have that publish so we will you know get the emails whether the data has been published or not and then we will have the sql we will have some emails and then power bi we will have some emails okay power bi also is is refreshed right or fail maybe so this kind of thing we will be using we will be doing in this project already already till till here till here uh you know the course is ready i just need to create a uh, need to create a power bi report and to create a sql views okay apart from this everything has been completed okay and see once the once once this all things is done then we will deploy the code into our another environment it could be a uat or it could be a production so that's why i have written over here azure devops and github so we will be saving the code in in the github okay and uh, then on top of with the help of azure devops pipeline releases we will be we will be deploying code to from dev environment to the upper environment okay good now we'll see about the course so this is the course okay and this is the website i will give you in the description box you can get it over there and uh, the course name is master in azure data factory interview questions and end to end project so actually i have covered everything from the scratch till the end till the you know intermediate level right so you, you can just read all these things now here in this course we are having four modules first module is just for the introduction of azure data factory who the guys who know azure data factory already they can just come over there and you know refresh uh, the uh, the you know the content or the concepts then we have module 1 interview questions of azure data factory it is of having currently it is of having a four hours so we have everything over here related to copy activity fault tolerance triggers event based trigger lookup activity get me and i i you know i yet to add more videos i'll add it eventually then we have scenario based question it is having i mean currently i'm having only two it is about 57 minutes so i will be eventually adding more concepts more, more scenario based question and then we have you know uh, azure data factory end to end project course so you can see uh, we have till now we are having four hour 20 minutes of videos so it is more than enough right so we are having everything over here i have covered everything from the sketch you know infrastructure setup of for data lake infrastructure setup for data snowflake then in, infrastructure setup for data factory logic app sql pools then set up data sources then create integration runtime spns keyword link service create rest api copy data activity enhancement of copy data activity then copy data activity of snowflake copy data activity of you know 
from API set up master ingestion pipeline fetch secret from the key vault using API send failure success notification transformation derived column rank select data flows if null statement casting and so you know so I will be uploading more videos by end of this uh, uh, week today is 16th date right so by Sunday or by Saturday I, I, I'll, I'll complete this project end to end then you will be able to watch you know everything over here right so this is a comp this is gonna be very interesting project i would say this is not a very basic project i would say this is a kind of basic plus intermediate project so i actually the you know the 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 scenario what i have created over here that is very good you know how you can read a multiple files how you can you know use a switch case statement how you can use a if else condition so all this stuff i have covered in this course so i hope that you will like it and you will love it so if you are taking this project i would recommend to build the project also and just write down anything i mean what you're learning right on your on the linkedin on you know, and share this course within your friends to your you know to your circle so that it will be reachable to many others and the price of the course or the fees of the course is very affordable and disclaimer is this is not a udemy, udemy type project this is not a this is not a youtube project maybe you will be seeing a similar kind of data in some other project but the the main idea of this project is to tell you the real time usage see data can be anything now you might be thinking hey saga you have used this data and i have used this data in other project okay now the the purpose of this project is to tell you the real to give you the proper knowledge of azure data factory okay and the main thing is how how, what is the scenario you are dealing with de dealing with right okay so hence i made this project you can get everything like you know data files you can get the you know a code also at the end of the project and just you know practice it and i'm definitely sure that if you at least you know build this project add in your resume you can get a job easily it is not a job guarantee program it is not a job guarantee course but at least if you if you you know uh, give you a hundred percent in this project and you know learning some xyz thing from outside also then you can definitely learn it you will definitely get the project or you don't get the job Hello. i hope that i have covered everything about this project and uh, this is the first project i will be uploading more project also in future if you like this project and if you you know if i get a good response already 70 users have been have taken this project course and you can also be a part of it it's your choice if you want to build this complex project or if you want to build some simple project right so chalo, thank you bye bye